I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos, where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Christina Marlett. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful evening? Oh, well, it's morning where I am, and I am fantastic. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> what part of the world are you in right now? I'm in Canada. All right. And which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? I would say my ability to enact courageous self-care. Ooh. Interesting. Who did you learn that from? Well, I've been doing a deep dive into personal development for the last 10 years, and I'm kind of like a gatherer. I've been gathering ideas and processes and strategies and then giving them a little twist and making them my own. So I've learned from a large variety of the top trainers and uh, experts in the world, in the self-help world, and uh, I've tweaked them to make them my own. Oh, that's intriguing. Uh, what caught my attention on your LinkedIn profile was beyond bubble baths, chocolate, and wine. Oh, please explain that to us. Yes. Well, when we hear about self-care, what uh, most people here that I have chatted with, especially women, have um, said is they think about going to the spa and that it's expensive, or they think about um, yeah having bubble baths or a glass of wine and While all of those are really important, and even I hear people saying that self-care is um, nutrition and hydration and sleep and exercise, and those are all super important, and at the same time, they don't have as much of an impact if we're not practicing internal self-care, which is the kind of self-care that I'm excited about, and it takes lots of courage because it's going deep and figuring out your beliefs and looking at mindsets and... Um, seeing what's working and seeing what's not working. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, do tell us about the podcast where you have deeper conversations on this topic, please. Yes, I'm I'm starting a Courageous Self-Care podcast. It's going to be coming out in the next month. And uh, I have I've narrowed down the practice of internal self-care to 12 foundations. And so each month on the podcast, I'll be discussing a di- different uh, foundation. Well, that's wonderful. Well, we love the number 12 here. Give us one, please. One of them is shifting your relationship with time. So uh, if you think of time as being your friend, would time actually want to be your friend the way that you talk and think about it? Hmm. Love it. Ooh. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> love it, love it. Well, that's wonderful. Where's the best place for someone to connect with you, Christina? Well, they can go to my website, which is christinamarlett.com. M-A-R-L-E-T-T, Christina Marlett. That's right. Christina, tell us one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. I would say meditating every day. How does that make you feel? Well, you know, I've really noticed that it helps me stay grounded when um, my kids push my buttons or <laughs> <laughs> or my buttons get pushed in other places in the real world when I'm not meditating. And just the ability to take full responsibility for everything that I do and knowing that it's nothing is as big of a deal as we think it is. Hmm. Suggest so to someone out there listening why they should do that as well meditating every day because it's such a powerful form of self-care connecting with the deepest part of yourself that's connected with everything else in the universe it gives us so much perspective on well yeah for me it gives me perspective and it helps me have compassion for other people and know that everyone is just doing their best that's wonderful well, amazing audience, you're hearing it live here from Christina Marlett again. She is the upcoming podcast host of, say the name, Christina, say the name. Chris, uh, Courageous Self-Care Podcast. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, Christina, let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Christina, what is your earliest childhood memory? Mm, I, You know, I remember 
the bathroom floor in a different house that we lived in, it was black and white tiles. And I remember, um, yeah, riding my little tricycle outside my, uh, on the sidewalk outside my street. And then I really had to go to the bathroom. So I remember (laughs) going into the bathroom and not making it to the toilet. And I felt really embarrassed. Wow. Yeah. Was it number one or number two? (laughs) Just number (laughs) one. You know, the details are what make it um, really a great story, right? Uh, that's fascinating. Yes. Yeah. Why do you think this memory is so clear? Uh, well, I've been delving into my core personality with the Enneagram. And I think that's partly responsible for um, my core belief or core wound, I guess, that. I have to get everything right and perfect. And that, like, my mom didn't get upset with me. She understood. But um, for me, I was embarrassed that I didn't get it right. And so ever since then, I've been working on releasing that need to be perfect and get it right. And, uh, yeah, I think that was one of the important incidents that made that happen. Wow. That's amazing. Ooh, how graphic, though, the release in that uh, particular picture. It's graphic. Yes, <laughs> on that black and white tiled floor. <laughs> yeah, even more yes. graphic, right? But um, yeah. definitely, uh, even the black and white tiled floor does bring some uh, value as well, right? Like the difference yes. between colors and um, in terms of good or bad. bad yeah, or darkness good. and light. Yeah, yeah. yeah very interesting. Yeah. Mm. I'm glad that you connected the dots. Uh, if we fast yes. forward it to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? When I was 12? Oh my gosh, I love George Michael. Tell us one song from George Michael. Uh, one More Try. All right, yeah, well, most definitely you got One More Try and you did make it to the bathroom the other time. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Every time since then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think I think perspective is so important because just like in life, understanding that you will have one more try most times, right, uh, definitely lines you up to forgive yourself and um, be a, a little more lenient with yourself, right, when you do make mistakes. That's right. Yeah. So yes. One more try. Love that. Yeah. All right, Christina, well, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there is a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly. Are you ready, Christina? I'm ready. Christina, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Oh, yes. Are you married? Yes. Do you have children? Two, yes. Do you believe in God? I do. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? No. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight hours a day or less than eight hours a day? Oh, less. If you, Christina, had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Christina Mallet, what would you say that is? Hmm. Hmm. That's not a yes or no question. Come on, one more try. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Be yourself because everyone else has taken. Love it. Christina Mahler, this has been a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Mm, Well, thank you so much for listening. And by listening, this is a form of self-care. So you can give yourself a big pat on the back and know that you've done something to increase your vibration today. Love it. While patting on my back, Christina, yes, thank you me too. so much <laughs> for being <laughs> on what is inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you so much for having me here. You're welcome. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. 
These books are available on Amazon.com. And for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.